Mm -mm -mm. Hello, welcome to the first episode of the Comet Show on Euro Football Daily. I've done the show before, but if you're unfamiliar with 90 plus one, I go through the comments on the channel throughout the week and now I pick out my favorites. So don't forget to get your comments in. The first comment comes from 10 football players who dominated the World Cup. Where's R9 from Sam O? I believe he is referring to the legendary Brazilian with the inverted receding hairline, and I'm inclined to agree. How on earth have we done a top 10 World Cup video without R9 in it? It's mental. He should be in all top 10 World Cup videos by default. Top 10 World Cup Brazilians, he's all 10. Top 10 World Cup moments, he's all 10. Top 10, top 10, Euro Football Daily top 10s about the World Cup. He's all nine. Just nine, I hear you ask. Because the other one, number one moment of the World Cup is when France handballed it against Ireland to qualify. Got the plane to the World Cup, got off the plane. Oh, South Africa's nice. Let's not play football. Let's have a go at the manager instead and just f*** it all up. Why didn't you let Ireland go? But the question is, from that top 10 on that video, who do you take out? Some of it, Pele, actually. Take out Pele. Fraud. Mm, I'm just saying that I don't even I don't really have an opinion on Pele. He was probably good. He can't have been awful, could he? I just like you know annoying people. The next comment comes from Jonathan Wigmore, and it was on the last episode of Stat Wars between McCola and Christopher. Finally, some real presenters. A bit rude to be honest, because you're suggesting that the week prior with Joseph and McCubbin that they weren't professional, all right? They weren't proper presenters. They were in incredible. Don't know what that was, but I've done it. Just a bit of movement, get a bit of movement in, you know, it's all fun. We're usually just sitting down and that's boring. And McCubbin and Joe, they were moving to an extent. It was an exciting episode and probably the only ever Stat Wars episode I've watched and enjoyed. He loves talking about hamster cocks. Yeah. It's cool. I shouldn't say that anymore, I'm on this channel. Why was Chris helping the list guy read the questions? Suspect. If you don't recall, in the last episode of Stat Wars, halfway through filming the referee's questions, Chris went for a cheeky quick dump. He's still having a poo, which is also known as a turbo jump. We film my referee bit after we film actual Stat Wars, so it doesn't actually matter who films me, and it doesn't even matter what I say, because the person who's filmed Stat Wars has asked them the question. However, Julian, if your comment actually is suggesting that I need help to read, you are incorrect. Whoever is filming at that moment in time reads me the questions from a bit of paper and I have to remember the name, the question. I mean, that's pretty much it. But it's difficult, all right, without an auto cue. They encourage you to do some, like, you know, movement, a bit, you know, jokes, all the jokes, all the fun. And then by the time you've done that, you've forgotten because there's no preparation for referee's questions. I literally just get told to come up and I do it. The next comment comes from someone who goes by the name Gremlin. Laz, it's six. Is it too early to get drunk? It depends. Do you mean at 6 a.m. or 6 p.m.? Because it's fine to be drunk at both. The next comment comes from Irfan Asiraf Ismail. Calm down, Michael McCubbins. Plural. There's multiple McCubbins. Too much yeah is not good for you. Hold on, Irfan, all right? Hold on there. Don't be damaging Michael's name when he's not here, all right? Michael, come deal with Irfan. He's not there. I just talked to nothing. I'm going to go get Michael in a bit. Yeah, I see your point, mate, but, you know, quite a positive word. Got to spread positivity, so yeah. The next comment is from Continental Club. Eight and a half minutes talking about England is way too much. I'm inclined to agree with Jamie here, because you don't need eight minutes to talk about England at the World Cup. You only need one line. England are going to win the f***ing World Cup. Got to spread positivity, so yeah. You've heard it here second, because Zach keeps saying it like, literally every bloody day. I believe at the World Cup we can summon the power of the Bulldog, of Phil Mitchell, of tea. I actually hate tea, it's, it's not good. Danny Dyer, pubs in general, the rain, tutting. Gonna summon all of that and we will win the World Cup. Harry Kane is gonna lift that trophy, not like that, because he'd be holding it sideways, that'd be weird. And he's gonna whisper the words with the same speech impediment that I have. We've done it, boys. Let's all go to the pub. Exploding Goat Gamers. Where is the list? Man, right here. You put that on Continental Club. I can't think of anything worse than going on Continental Club 
and trying to talk about football in Europe for a good like half an hour. I spend every season just hammering out watching Manchester City play, which is my team. However, I want to branch out, all right? I want to delve more into the EU and I want to pick either a Bundesliga team or a La Liga team to follow throughout next season. So I've made a poll with four options and also comment down below if there's, you know, there's a specific team you would like me to follow next season. Comment of the week, this is a bit where I pick my favourite comment out of all the comments that I've seen this week. And the inaugural winner comes from Najib Anwar, and he just puts, dead channel. All right, Najib, okay, you comment a lot of really nice stuff on stuff I've been on, like on 90 plus one and on my own personal channel. And you're a, you're a nice bloke, all right? So hopefully this channel is no longer dead or no longer dying, and it can come from the ashes, rise up, be better than Football Daily, because everyone just focuses on that bastard, all right? F them. If we all come together, EFD will be better than Football Daily, and we'll get all the cool sh We like BBC Two, and they like BBC One. BBC Two, loads of respectable programming, but it's still not BBC One, is it? We're gonna become BBC One, and they're gonna become, I don't know, ITV4. And that is it for the first episode of the comment show on EFD. I hope you enjoyed a bit of weirdness to the schedule, you know, just something a bit less serious than usual. Don't forget to get your comments in. Go check out Continental Club, actually. We talk about Fakir's move to Liverpool. And then less than 24 hours after uploading that video, Fakir didn't move to Liverpool. Quality stuff. Cheers for that, Fakir's knee. It was his knee, wasn't it?